Hi guys and welcome to another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the engine fuel balancing and fuel cross-feeding procedure. Now I received a message from someone who said, Hi Flight Deck 2 Sim, I've been practicing engine failures with my PMDG and I keep noticing I'm getting a fuel imbalance. How do I balance the fuel? So I thought I'd make a quick tutorial to explain that procedure. Now with the way PMDG is programmed and also with the full flight simulators it works. Very unlikely you're going to get a uh, fuel imbalance naturally. And that's because just the way the computer's programmed is programmed to make sure that each engine burns the same amount of fuel at the same time with the same way in one values. Now in the real aircraft it's very unlikely that's going to be the case. Each engine is going to be running at slightly different rates. Uh, they're going to have slightly different fuel flows and also the fuel pump pressure for each main tank is going to be slightly different as well. What can happen after quite a long sector is that you get a fuel imbalance develop here. So we have a difference here of about 150 kilos. Now we have something called the fuel cross-feeding procedure to make sure that the main tanks are balanced at all times. Now it's very important that prior to making any cross-feed in flight, uh, we uh, determine that there's no fuel leak which has caused this imbalance. So how would we do that? We check the flight plan against how much fuel we should have with what we've got in the tank also look at the fuel flow, time it for 10 minutes and then see if it uh, matches what we have lost in the tanks as well. Now if there is a discrepancy we would probably suspect a fuel leak and it's very unlikely that's going to be the case. So we're happy to say there's been no fuel leak and we can now do the fuel cross feed procedure. Now if you let this develop, if you've got a difference of 453 kilos between the tank, this gauge would turn amber, in bow would display and you must then immediately uh, accomplish this procedure because you might start having handling difficulties if you let the inbound develop more than 453 kilos. Now in this case here it's only 150 so we can just do the fuel cross feeding procedure straight away. Now how do we do that? The first thing we do we look at the overhead panel and we follow the rule called low side pumps off. Now before we do that we need to open the cross feed valve. Uh, we verify the lights illuminate correctly so it's currently off showing it's closed. We flick it, it goes bright to show the valve is in transit and then it goes dim to, to show you that the cross feed valve is now open. Now we can balance the fuel so following the low side pumps off we can see the left side is the low side so we can turn those pumps off. We're going to get low pressure, we verify the master caution so master caution it says fuel, we can reset the system and now we need to wait three or four minutes for the fuel to balance. So in this situation here, what's happening? Both engine number one and number two are taking fuel from main tank number two. We've currently isolated main tank number one. And we're going to leave it that way until the fuel is balanced. Okay, so now we can see the imbalance is within 20 kilos. We can now reconfigure the panel for normal operations. So we go back to the overhead panel first thing you do is put the main tank pumps on for the low side and then as soon as they're on verify the low pressure light is extinguished and we then close the cross feed valve and now we have a look at the gauges see how balanced they are there you go the bang on 3070 kilos each well slightly different you can never get it within 10 kilos and that guys is it that is the fuel cross feeding procedure we use to balance fuel so i hope you found that enjoyable uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave that in the comments section been making a new playlist called non-normal situations and in time we're going to cover everything from engine failures to rapid depressurization so if you have anything you'd like me to cover feel free to message me and uh, i'll do my best to accommodate any requests uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you again for another flight deck to sim tutorial in the very near future take care and i'll see you again soon